Can Wolverine ever die? Or has our hero smoked his last cigar? Science Behind Wolverine So, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that new Wolverine 3 trailer that came out around a month ago. Personally, I'm thinking this is going to be the most emotional roller coaster type superhero movie we've gotten in a long time. Seriously, cannot wait for Logan. But speaking of our cigar smoking hero, something ran through my mind while watching the trailer. Actually, a few things did. Number 1, X-23. Just saying. Number 2, people are getting old in this movie. Seriously, just look at Xavier. Dude look like he's aged a few, uh, centuries? And honestly, pretty sure he's gonna die in this film. Two main characters digging a hole with the third main character not in frame while said character says something inspirational? Yeah, it's a mouthful, but it's pretty classic. Pretty sure Xavier is gonna kick the old bucket, for real this time. But that got me thinking. Logan's looking pretty ancient himself in this movie, which begs the question. Is Wolverine going to die pretty soon here? The signs are, well, all over the trailer. He's got wrinkles, he's got graying hair, he's even got scars that aren't healing anymore. It's almost undeniable. Like it or not, the dude's getting pretty old, possibly even near to the end of his line. So, is it true? For it to be true, it had to be true that Wolverine can even die at all. But that's impossible, right? His healing mutation keeps him from aging beyond his physical prime, right? Well, even though similar to Deadpool, Wolverine has cells that keep regrowing once they die, we see in the trailer that this isn't looking so good anymore. So, what's happening to Logan on a biological scale, and what can it tell us about his possible death, and whether or not he can die? Well, before we determine whether Wolverine can die or not, we have to take a look at what's prevented his death thus far. If you've watched the Wolverine movies, you know that Logan spent a lot of time on Earth. Roughly around 137 years to be exact, seeing as how the dude was a kid in the late 1880s. Surprisingly, that doesn't make him the oldest man in the world, so his age is possible in real life, without superpowers or mutations. However, it's also established that he has a few genetic mutations, hence why he's in the X-Men franchise. These mutations are his ability to create elongated claws from his knuckles, and his ability to heal his body instantaneously. Although it's not impossible for someone of Wolverine's age to still be alive, it's likely that Wolverine's healing property allowed him to live so long, seeing as how he never aged past his physical prime. See, the reason he didn't age beyond that point is because age and physical development are two very different stages of the human body. Physical development starts from conception, or the point in time in which the very creation of the human body starts. From an embryo, a human develops and grows into what's called its physical prime. This can vary a little, but most human males' physical primes are reached at about 30, with some earlier and some later. I don't know if Wolverine is biologically 30 years old, he looks a little older, so we'll say 40. So if he's 1 to 37 years old, but he's got the body of a 40 year old, what is preventing him from aging? Well, we know what physical development is, but we still have to learn exactly what aging is. One physical prime is usually not only the high point of physical development, it's just about the end of it. You've reached the top, and it really doesn't get higher than that. From that point, the human body will begin the aging process. Basically, think of the body like a machine that's been running for a while. Rust accumulates, parts begin to not work as well. Basically, cells keep on dying, but they replace themselves at a slower rate than they used to, and this rate keeps gradually getting slower right up until death. However, unlike most people, Wolverine hasn't shown any signs of aging up until the point of whenever Logan takes place. Throughout his 137 years, Wolverine never really showed any signs of age shedding in. He always healed, and he never really got weaker. So, what's the secret? Well, incidentally, it's simple. Wolverine's healing mutation seems to actually be a form of self-controlled cancer. Just think about it. His cells keep regrowing and regrowing, and while he has no control over when he heals or how he heals, it's never failed him. Of course, this would separate his form of cancer from all other ones, but nonetheless, it shows almost all the symptoms of it and shares a lot of qualities as well. So, it's entirely possible that Wolverine's healing factor is some weird mutated form of self-controlling cancer. Fair enough, but if he's never gotten rid of his mutation manually, then why does he show signs of aging in the new Logan movie? Well, even though it's rare, cancer can wear off naturally. In fact, it's been said that many treatable cancers have higher chances than others of just sort of stopping naturally. I'm not sure if we know why this happens, but ultimately, it explains what's happening to Wolverine. His lifelong, self-controlled form of cancer is beginning to wear off, allowing his body to finally stop healing constantly and start degrading. Therefore, he ages. 
So all in all, based off the information we've seen in both the medical field and in Wolverine media, we can conclude that yes, Wolverine can in fact kick the bucket. Let's just hope it isn't in his next and possibly final outing.